All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the element hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. It makes up 74% of ordinary matter in the whole universe. It's the lightest element. It only has one proton in every nucleus. And it's the least dense element. The gas, hydrogen gas, is very, very light, as you might say. And you can tell, at least from that balloon, that they do tend to float when you fill them with hydrogen. Okay? That shows you how buoyant it is in air and how much less dense it is in the air. Um, hydrogen is also, uh, it's 10% of the human body by mass, but it's 63% of the atoms in our bodies. So it's a very important element, as you can see. It's also very important because it's got a great potential as a, an energy storage medium. A lot of people say it's a fuel, but it's not really a fuel. It's more like a battery. Uh, it's more like what you'd use to fuel a fuel cell than what you would use to fuel an engine, like an internal combustion engine. And the reason why people say it's the fuel of the future, or something like that, is because when you burn hydrogen and oxygen, all you get is water. Which sounds like it's too good to be true. It sounds like a dream. Well, it is a little bit too good to be true, because in order to generate hydrogen, you have to expend quite a bit of money and energy to do it. And usually, the feedstock for making hydrogen is either hydrocarbons or water, and the energy required to get the hydrogen out of those substances is, uh, is quite a lot. And to get that energy, you have to burn fossil fuels most of the time. And if you get it from hydrocarbons, you're producing more carbon dioxide by using the hydrocarbons and by using extra energy from outside. So it's really not a carbon-free fuel if it's made that way. Another problem with hydrogen is that it's the least dense element. It's the least dense substance, really. Um, and so it's hard to store. And we'd like to be able to use it in cars. We can use electricity at home. Uh, but in a car, batteries are just not that efficient. They're really hard to make, to, to be efficient enough to carry enough charge to carry a car several hundreds of miles, which is what we really like. So hydrogen might be better for that, except that it's really not uh, possible to store very much of it at a time. Now, the, both of these problems can be overcome if we can come up with a way to produce enough energy by wind and solar power, renewable resources that don't produce carbon dioxide, then this would be a carbon-free storage medium for energy. That would be really great if we could do that. And people are, in fact, working on ways to store hydrogen in a much more dense way than we can by just compressing it as a gas or even liquefying it. It really doesn't make it dense enough to make it feasible to carry it to fuel a car. But if these two things can be overcome, then hydrogen could, in fact, become the energy storage medium of the future, much better than batteries. But what makes hydrogen so valuable as a fuel storage medium is that when you combine it with oxygen, it produces only water, but a lot of energy, too. We can actually witness the energy produced by hydrogen if we put it in a balloon and light it off with a match, which is, of course, what we're all waiting for. So let's get right down to that. Uh, I'm going to do two balloons. And I'm going to do one balloon with the lights on and one with the lights off. The flash from the hydrogen is a little bit hard to see. <laughs> I'm not getting in the candle a little too soon here. Uh, a little bit hard to see uh, with the lights on, so we're going to turn the lights off for the second one. So I'm going to need a countdown from three. So let's hear it. Three, two, one. was a little bit unexpected. Didn't expect it to do that. Alright, so let's try with the lights off. <laughs> no, you're gonna explode me. Erin, <laughs> Erin, it's just like my poem. Yes, your poem said that I would explode people, but I, I, I'll have you know I've not yet injured a student. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't be the so first. <laughs> it's so awesome that all we can see is that little tiny place. Alright, and here we go. So count down from three again. Three, two, two. One. Oh. Awesome! <laughs> okay. And so there you have it. Hydrogen gas and the energy it can produce. Now, can I have a countdown from three? Three, three two, two, one. I told you it was loud. Woo! That's amazing! Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Oh my god! 